morning everyone. We are in Wyoming at a campsite in the middle of the woods. Um, today we are heading to Grand Tetons National Park. And uh, first time going there so we're both super excited and uh, can't wait to take you guys along on the journey. stop before we get to the Grand Tetons is to stop at the Jackson Hole uh, post office. As you probably could have suspected, it's kind of hard to get mail on the road. Um, Jake actually wrote a blog post all about it if you're actually interested. Um, but um, I was sent a package from one of my friends. Um, I think it's been sitting in this post office for about a week, but I'm gonna go see if it's there. Got the package. I'm super excited. Nice. So my friend runs this company called The Woods Clothing, and she custom makes like all clothing to like fit you perfectly, and you can like choose all the fabric and stuff. So I got a sports bra because those are difficult to get to fit me. So I'm super pumped, and then some awesome shorts to match but I'll link her uh, website and like social media down below if you guys want to check it out all right we officially did all of our errands picked up our mail and we are on our way to the Grand Tetons National Park we've been told that it's pretty epic when you drive in and like see the mountains so we're super excited um, and we'll show you what it looks like We are here on uh, Mormon Row, which is an uh, old homestead community that was built in like the 1800s. And so there's these cool old barns over here that are very famous with obviously the Tetons in the background. Sorry if there's a lot of wind noise, it's very windy out here. got into the campsite or like the campground we were planning on um, getting in the Grand Tetons and usually on a Saturday evening all the sites at the beginning are taken but we got extremely lucky and we just like pulled right in and one of like the first spots we it was available so it's exciting because then we can go on a hike and we don't have to like stress and we can come back to a campsite. <laughs> And since it's summer, we can start a hike at like 3 p.m. and still have plenty of hours of daylight left. But check out, we got a view of the Tetons right here. Set up our tent just to hold our place. Highly recommend that as a van life thing because if you take your vehicle with you, then there's no way to hold your campsite. So we, we use our tent for that. So now we are headed to Taggart Lake and Bradley Loop. I think it's about like six miles and like less than a thousand birds. So hopefully we can crush it out pretty fast. Um, we'll catch you on the hike. So instead of going with the temperature that was outside the van, which is pretty warm. I was like, you know, there's like snow up on the mountains. We're going up in elevation a little bit. So I'll just put on leggings. I think it's like 80 something out here. It is hot. Bad idea. Just got to Taggart Lake. Check it out. Welcome. 
Welcome to Bradley Lake. So we just finished Taggart Lake and Bradley Lake. It was six miles, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, we are headed over to Jenny Lake Overlook. We're gonna make some dinner and then hopefully catch a nice sunset. Thank you, Emily, for making some delicious sweet potato tacos for dinner. We just made it down to Jenny Lake Overlook and we're just watching the sunset. I don't know if it's gonna be overly cool, but it's a sunset. Really hazy right now, but you never know, the colors could pop. Sometimes the sunset you picture is not really the one you get. I was picturing us being warm here, the clouds turning all pink and getting amazing, but really we're just taking a cold breeze off the, the snow melt. Still beautiful, but a little cold. Well, we didn't quite get the sunset we were hoping for, but we kind of pulled off on the side of the road because Delphi has a nice view. Yeah, we took some fun little photos <laughs> just jumping in front of the van, so we'll show one, show that to you in the next uh, screen. <laughs> Alright, so we made it back to the campsite. We're all ready for bed and cozied up. We're just trying to figure out what the plan is for tomorrow. So we'll pick you up then. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are headed to, to some like overlook spots in the Grand Tetons. We were gonna do a hike, but we have a bit of an interesting situation. We applied for jobs a few days ago, and then yesterday we had some interviews and we found out that we got the jobs and she wants us there in like four days. Life so, comes at you fast. <laughs> yeah, we thought we were gonna have some time to really like relax and you know, do Grand Teton National Park to its fullest and then like move on to Yellowstone, but now we have to kind of rush through it. So we're gonna do a few things more uh, in the Grand Tetons and then we're gonna head straight up to Yellowstone and maybe uh, check out some stuff there too. So we'll, we'll show you some of these cool little spots. So we just made it to Snake Overlook. Yesterday I was sweating in leggings and a tank top uh, and we were like tempted to go swimming in the Alpine lakes and now it's a bit chillier and we're both in like double sweatshirts. And we got coffee pants. and tea so we're good. Yeah, but we'll show you the Snake Overlook. We are now going to Coulter Bay Village. We're walking hopefully to a swimming area, not to swim, but just to get a better view and get a nice picture. Beavers were really trying to get this tree down, but looks like they gave up. We checked out a few of those little overlooks, got a little bit of exercise to move the legs, and now we are headed to Yellowstone. So we just got to West Geyser in Yellowstone, which is like the first stop for one of the geysers. West Thumb Geyser. Oh, oops. <laughs> and uh, it's freaking snowing. <laughs> we keep getting stuck in snowstorms, but we're still gonna enjoy it. There's some elk what. over here in the grass. We're gonna go check them out. So we're we're here at Old Faithful, Yellowstone. Definitely not social distancing approved, so that's why we got our masks on. Hopefully the, the geyser goes off soon, but we'll see.
just saw Old Faithful erupt. It's like nature's firework show. It's pr <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah. But now we're away from the crowd so we can take the mass off. Yeah, and now we're just doing like a little four mile loop seeing a bunch of other geysers. So it should be pretty cool. Yeah. done hiking our little uh, geyser hike <laughs> uh, and it starts with Old Faithful and ends with Old Faithful and we actually got pretty lucky and saw it go off on our way into the hike and then on our way out but now everyone is leaving so it's like honestly a concert just got let out and there's like traffic to get out of here <laughs> it's like a baseball game <laughs> but now we are headed to uh, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone so we're excited to go check that out We finally made it to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. We're at Artist Point and it's pretty colorful and it's really cool. Alright, that was really cool, but it is frigid up here. Yeah, the sun's going down. <laughs> Some of the trail are closed due to snow, and now I completely understand. It's chilly. Our basil plant not doing so He's well. Dying. Yeah. I think we overwatered it. We're not really sure. Definitely doesn't have enough nutrients. No. But for living in a moving vehicle, it's doing pretty well. So we've sadly reached our last stop in Yellowstone National Park on our one day tour of Yellowstone, which yeah. <laughs> I know is um, insultingly short for this big of a park. Yeah, we covered a lot, but we highly, highly suggest taking like multiple days to explore. Yeah. We were big tourists. Just <laughs> hitting the best spots and only staying for a short time. So we'll be back. Anyway, um, this last spot is Mammoth Hot Springs. It's got these really cool like white cascading staircase terrace things. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna go check that out for sunset. Hopefully we get the clouds uh, that we were looking for last night. Yeah, we're excited. We'll show you what it's like. So last night we were checking out stuff till basically dark, 10 p.m. So it was a full day. Came to the campsite outside the park and we were just so tired, went to bed. But uh, we woke up this morning, took down the windshield cover and we we're like, whoa, pretty nice cool view. Cool spot. Yeah, we just wanted to say thanks for coming along on our little adventure to the Grand Tetons and Yellowstone. It was epic. We wish we had a ton more time to explore both national parks, but it was still fun with the short amount of time we had. But next up, we are headed towards Idaho. Uh, I think it's like a nine hour drive. We're headed to our new jobs, but we're excited to take you along on some new adventures because we're going to be in a really cool area where we can take some nice weekend trips and kind of go on little adventures here and there. Yep. But, so uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming along. Bye.